Hello and welcome to my third video, I am Yush and you are watching Question Spot. Today I will tell you the 5 biggest unanswered questions in physics. So let's get started. 1. What is matter made of? We know matter is made up atoms, and atoms are made up of protons, neutrons, and electrons. And we know that protons and neutrons are made up of smaller particles known as quarks. Would probing deeper uncover particles even more fundamental? We don't know for sure. 2. Why is gravity so weird? No force is more familiar than gravity, it's what keeps our feet on the ground, after all. And Einstein's theory of general relativity gives a mathematical formulation for gravity, describing it as a warping of space. But gravity is a trillion 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 times weaker than the other three known forces, electromagnetism and the two kinds of nuclear forces that operate over tiny distances. One possibility speculative at this point is that in addition to the three dimensions of space that we notice every day, there are hidden extra dimensions, perhaps curled up in a way that makes them impossible to detect. If these extra dimensions exist and if gravity is able to leak into them, it could explain why gravity seems so weak to us. 3. Why does time seem to flow only in one direction? Since Einstein, physicists have thought of space and time as forming a four-dimensional structure known as space-time. But space differs from time in some very fundamental ways. In space, we're free to move about as we wish. When it comes to time, we're stuck. We grow older, not younger. And we remember the past, but not the future. Time unlike space, seems to have a preferred direction, physicists call it the arrow of time. 4. Where did all the antimatter go? Antimatter may be more famous in fiction than in real life. On the original Star Trek, antimatter reacts with ordinary matter to power the warp drive that propels the USS Enterprise at faster than light velocities. While warp drive is pure fiction, antimatter is very real. We know that for each particle of ordinary matter, it's possible to have an identical particle with the opposite electrical charge. For example, an antiproton is just like a proton, but with a negative charge. The antiparticle corresponding to the negatively charged electron, meanwhile, is the positively charged positron. 5. How did life evolve from non living matter? For its first half billion years, Earth was lifeless. Then life took hold, and it has thrived ever since. But how did life arise? Before biological evolution began, scientists believe there was chemical evolution, with simple inorganic molecules reacting to form complex organic molecules, most likely in the oceans. But what kick-started this process in the first place? Nobody clearly knows. I hope you have learned something new today. If yes then please explore the subscribe button and hit it. Don't forget to ask your questions below. Let's explore all at one spot. Thank you.